Congresswoman Shelley Pingree and the president of the Planned Parenthood Action Fund launch Women for Hillary. The Clinton campaign opened its Portland headquarters just last week. Tonight, Pingree and Cecile Richards advocated for Clinton, saying women's issues affect every American. They also say Clinton would stand up to Republicans who want to defund Planned Parenthood. Pingree told us she's excited to see Clinton's recent wins. And it's such a huge contrast to what's going on with the Republicans. And I think people now understand how high the stakes are here. We're going to get through the primary season, and I think we're going to have Hillary Clinton as our candidate. And I'm very enthusiastic about having someone so well qualified and have a woman in the White House. The main Democratic caucus is now just two weeks from today. Donald Trump and Clinton cementing their status as front runners in the race for president tonight. CNN estimating Clinton already has nearly 500 delegates, while Trump has 67. Today, Trump hosted a rally in Atlanta, Georgia, speaking on a number of economic policy changes he says he would make as president. Trade is really, really, really getting bad, folks. In the history of the world, there has never been a greater theft than what China has taken out of the United States. So see, we have rebuilt China with our money. Polls from the Associated Press show Trump is surprisingly strong with evangelical conservatives. That's a blow to Senator Ted Cruz, who is courting that group. Cruz says he is tied with Senator Marco Rubio in South Carolina. Both came in with 22 percent last night, with Rubio ahead by two tenths of one percentage point. Cruz says he's the only strong conservative who can win the nomination and says he's a, he is looking forward to Super Tuesday. That is on March 1st. Back on the Democratic side, Clinton declared the winner of the Nevada caucuses, winning 53 percent of the vote over Senator Bernie Sanders, 47. They will split delegates 19 and 15 in favor of Clinton. One reason Sanders says for his low performance, voter turnout. But despite losses in both Iowa and Nevada, Sanders says his campaign continues to build momentum and there are many states where he says he can still win. Oklahoma, last poll I saw had us at 80 percent of the vote in Vermont. I think we're going to do well there and I think we're going to do well in some other states as well. After that, uh, we're going to fight hard for uh, Michigan, uh, Kansas. Uh, there are states out there that I think we have a real shot to win in. Somewhere else, Sanders says he would do well is Massachusetts. Of the 30 delegates, Maine plans to send to the Democratic National Convention. Five are unpledged superdelegates, but three others are already coming out in support of Hillary Clinton. Right now, officials at Hudson University say they and Bangor police are investigating an alleged sexual assault on campus. In an email to students today, school leaders say the incident happened inside a dorm. They believe the act was not random, that the victim and the alleged perpetrator knew each other. Hudson faculty received an email this morning saying police officers were on campus and to not engage with them. School leaders released a statement tonight, which reads in part, Hudson University considers sexual assault and gender misconduct unacceptable. We work with faculty, staff and students to help make our campus a safe and supportive environment through It's On Us, our bystander intervention campaign. In Pittsfield, state police say a woman has died and eight others hurt in a head-on crash. 67-year-old Camille, Camille Ortolano was driving with her husband on Route 2 last night when the car hit some ice and collided with another car. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Seven people in this other car, including five children, received non-life-threatening injuries. The road was closed until about midnight. In Auburn today, police say a tractor trailer slid right off of Washington Street. Happened around 2 o'clock and caused some traffic delays. The truck was cleared by three.